Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here with a mystery mailbag. Well, not quite a mystery, because I know who it's from. It says right on the packing tape, Prop Store. These are our friends down in LA who run an auction house. They work with studios and production companies to get the props and costumes from productions, from films, out to you guys. And they are currently running an auction for a film you might have heard of, Terminator Genesis. Now, there are a lot of costumes and props in the film, and if you check out their website, you'll see that they're selling props or plasma rifles, or battle armor, you can get like a full suit of battle armor for like 100 bucks. Uh, I don't know exactly what they've sent up here to preview their auction, but let's take a look, because it's a big box. Let's see what they got here. Oh, this I bet is the Koa Certificate of Authenticity. Don't need to exactly take a look at that, but this is what you get when they ship a a, um, a costume up. So, garment bags. This is character John Connor, played by Jason Clark. Change number five. So, five outfits, specific scenes, and the lighting information. Um, this is for interior, exterior, cyberdyne. These look like pants. So, I think these are motorcycle pants, I want to say. Let's take a look. Again, giant plastic bags, which are awesome. Yep, definitely some pants in here. Actor Jason Clark wore these. I'm not gonna put them on. And what else is in here? A shirt, the shirt he wore, let's see. All right. And then, the bottom of the bag, ooh. This could be cool. It is, yes, it's a leather jacket. Whoa! It is totally, yeah, Jason Clark's leather jacket they wore as John Connor walking out of the flames. Even if you haven't seen the movie, it's in the trailer. It's pretty cool. Like, one of the neat things about these auctions is that you can get clothes, pretty nice clothes, pretty cheap. I think they had people wearing suits in this film. He wore a suit. Uh, you had uh, Dyson wearing a suit, all the police officers. Let's try it on. I think he's a little bit bigger than I am. That's why I'm gonna wear it over my hoodie. Wow, all right, not bad. A Terminator jacket. Yeah, as seen on film, pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna put this off to the side for now, and let's see what else is in the box. More outfits, holy smokes. Looks like another full outfit. Oh, there's a backpack. Okay. A prop backpack. Duffel bag from the film. Yeah. Maybe we'll load some camera gear in here, walk through the airport and say this is from a Terminator film. That's neat. And then, um, everything is packaged, everything is inventoried. Pens from Cyberdyne, that's also pretty cool. And the film Cyberdyne was uh, set in San Francisco, it was in the Bay Area, a local Silicon Valley startup. And then one or two last things, let's see what's in here. Let's see. <gasps> Oh, this is neat. It's a detonator. A prop detonator. I'll let you guys get up close with this. Completely fake. Not a real prop, but you can see all the things they fabricated for it, including handy switch right here. Device armed. I wonder if this is actual hardware that you can pop out and look at the inside, or it all cast one piece. Not all the hardware is there. This is pretty neat, is that a button? Nope, that's not even a, a real light. You know, this would be cool actually to take it apart and add real electronics to it to turn it into uh, something that looks a little more functional. But a detonator from the Terminator film. Switch, very nice. And then, in this final, Part of the package. Let's take a look. 
More clothes, maybe? Carefully wrapped, unwrapped. Oh, some hosing, part of a bomb assembly, maybe? Not exactly sure, but also made for the film, custom-made prop. It could be um, in Cyberdyne's facilities when they were making the Terminators. This could have been part of that, um, uh, that apparatus. But all, again, fictional equipment made for the film. One final prop in this mailbag. I have an idea of what this is. It is, oh, this is really cool. This is a recreation of the photo uh, from Terminator 1. At the end of the film, of course, creates a paradox, is the photo of Sarah Connor. And this photo actually has been reproduced many times with the many iterations of Terminator. You saw the one for the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Uh, and this is the Amelia Clark version with, of course, the dog in the background, that sweet headband, and looking off into an uncertain future. That's a really cool weathered prop. Uh, that's carried by, um, carried by John Connor in the film, and Kyle Reese, of course. Uh, so that's the mailbag. Thank you, Prop Store, for sending it. Their Terminator Genesis auction, I believe, is going on through the end of this week. You can find all sorts of stuff. I like the costumes. You can get a full costume that you can wear, bow to armor, a suit even, for like 100 bucks. starting at um, on their website. Check that out, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.